Hi, how are you? God bless you. I'm so happy that you're here hanging out with me at Girl Armor Up. My name is Jacqueline and I am your chief warrior here. And I'm so excited to go a little bit deeper into part two of the war planning. Um, I have previously made a video. Um, I will link it on the iCard cards here on the top. And it goes just superficial on the reasons to the planner and how it came about and a little bit of uh, biblical reasons to why you know so today i kind of want to go a little deeper into not basically how but the reasons to why we should war plan let's get into the video okay so first and foremost I just wanted to show you that this is the planner, okay? This is the planner that the Lord has put in my heart. And with his help, I happened to bring it into an existence. I am working from the um, beta, if you should say, version. This was my first, very first uh, one. And this is the only one that um that is this this one um because i changed it into um it being a little bigger so this is how this one is the one that you would be getting and this is just the one that i um plan out of and decorate and use okay so today i want to touch base a little bit and review just a little bit but mostly about war planning why is war planning so important right um, so we discussed that this planner is an affirmational planner so affirmations are words or um, just literally just confidence into something that exists or is true or it's going to be true, you know? So well, we are making claim. We are making declarations. We are bringing things into assistance, you know? So yes, uh, affirmations do not have to be totally 110% biblical. But we do know that the source of truth comes from the Bible. And that the Lord's words um, are more powerful than a sword with double edge. Uh, we do know that his word speaks things into existence. Um, and that all scriptures, front to back, um, it is God breathed, God inspired, and is to be used for our teaching, rebuking, correcting, training, you know. So we also discussed in the previous video that there are over thousands um, of promises in the Bible that you and I can use to, you know, for our advantage, you know. And I also went a little deep not too deep, but I went and discussed that you and I have an enemy. And that enemy only comes to steal, kill, and destroy, right? So this is just us touching a little bit the first video. So now I want to go to the reasons to why we should war plan. So war planning, it is a strategy that the Lord literally instilled in my heart to bring this to pass, you know, to bring this forward. So what is war planning? Okay, so when we go about our month, or this one is a weekly spread, right? The word says, and I'm not quoting it correctly, but I would probably put it in the screen somehow, that if we don't plan, we basically plan to fail. I'm semi-quoting it. But if we are looking into our 
weekly spread. We're looking into the future on things that are going to happen or you plan to happen, you know? Um, we are to already have affirmations and declare truth regarding your future, you know? So these words that are powerful, which is the Lord's words, or even if it's just affirmations that are just, I am confident, I am strong, I am beautiful. So it really, you know, going to go deep into the day. So these words, these affirmations, okay, they are to empower you, inspire you, help you in your daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, um, and help you to overcome any self-sabotaging or any struggles that you might be up against in the day or up ahead you know so it's basically a preparation to equip you into winning the battle or you know the fight within that certain situation that you are going to come across so if we know that we got certain tasks, certain agenda, certain things that we need to do throughout the week, throughout the month, we are going to focus on the affirmations to get us to the next level, right? So we are going to speak truth. We are going to be positive. We are going to fight against any obstacles against any thing or anyone that we might stumble upon you know so we do know in ephesians chapter 6 that our enemies are not that um co-worker that's causing any issues we do know that is not that friend that is distanced from you because X, Y, and Z, you know, we know that the enemy is out there and doing the work, scheming against you and your family, scheming against you, yourself, your family, your workplace, your anything. So your God's word, it's powerful. It is to get us to the next level and win the fight, win the battle, you know? So it doesn't really matter if you're going through financial issues. What are the scriptures saying that you have to declare? Are you going through health issues? What are the scriptures saying that you need to declare? What is it that you are going to go about in this week, uh, weeks coming up, that you need to work on believing, having faith on, and going along with Christ, you know, in this situation. So basically, you will fill this up um, just quickly. We will fill up the dates, okay? Just to give you just an idea on how this will help you okay so we have the dates we have put here november and this is the third week november and this is the third week right so here is next week's spread right so we know that something uh, big is going on here, which is Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day. Um, and 
you know, there might be other things going on throughout this day, right? There might be a major day that's something major that you are anxious, afraid, scared, or um, someone or, you know, that you know that's close to you um, is going to go through something very difficult. So, you know, um, you would put here the Bible verse. So this is the only one that I could think about currently. And I will put here, do not be afraid for I am with you, right? It says, don't be frightened for I am your God. I strengthen you. Yes, I help you. Yes. I uphold you with my saving right hand, okay? So basically right there, something major is to happen on this day. You are going to go through to the doctor, for some reason or another, you are anxious, you are afraid, you're frightened, you know, but the Lord says what you might be, but at the same time, he also throws at you positive affirmations and who and what is he going to do for you? He's going to strengthen you. He's going to help you. He's going to uphold you. He's going to save you, you know, so you are to declare that in the morning when you go about this day throughout this day as you're looking through your agenda and what you are going to be doing you are focusing you are meditating you are chewing on this scripture that is going to up you know give you that inspiration that encouragement to win within the situation you know so you know, for another thing might be that you're, you can, um, have the same Bible verse throughout the week. So you can, um, memorize them. I have given you the strategy and the encouragement for you to look up ahead, for you to see what is up ahead. So you can suit up, you can be equipped and ready for the battle that's going to go or come up ahead. This is the whole purpose of this planner. For you to see what is up ahead and for you to declare, for you to be ready, for you to be equipped, for you to be empowered into believing, into having faith, into having the encouragement to surpass any obstacles up in your future. I hope that this inspired in some way or another. I would love for you to watch the previous video and also the uh, uh, videos that are going to come up ahead. I'm going to be making a war uh, planning series to go more into details. So I thank you for hanging out with me here and I hope that I have blessed you in some way or another. If you have any questions, please write them on the description box below. God bless you. Hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you for hanging out with me here at Girl Amara. For more videos regarding war planning and encouragement in how to be strong in the Lord in your life journey, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.